Call me a shalom, shalom, shalom. Call all your help. By Hashem, I'm a shayak, I'm a lucky, I was sharing. Rabba Kagadash, a tazawam, kabal, kabayim, a squayim, ba. Call me a shalom, a habatam, a kyam, ba, kwa. Amen. We back at it with another continuation, right? Another continuation video. Through the spirit of power, your haba shim yo shai. Um, in the video previous to this one, uh, you know, I was trying to get through Sirach, but I couldn't really get through the whole fifth chapter. So, um, we're gonna pick up where we left off and leave no stone unturned. You know, so uh, let's go back to it. In Sirach chapter five, and I left off at verse number nine. It says, "When now, when now not with every wind, and go go not into every way, right? For so doeth the sinner that hath the double tongue." So I touched on this briefly in the other video, but what I didn't get to touch on is that at the end of the day, man, it says, so doeth a sinner with a double tongue. So here it is, right? You call yourself being spiritual, you know, you call yourself being wise, and you, as soon as you face with something difficult, you look at it as like, all right, let's go ahead and get that up out the way, or let's go ahead and give up, or let's go ahead and just let it go. You understand that? But at the end of the day, that's going to lead to you being double-minded. Because you're going to deal with some problems more than you deal with other problems. Or you're going to not want to deal with something, but you want to deal with something. And, 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 and um, you know what I'm saying? And you're just going to be, you're going to end up being double-minded, man. You understand that? And the Lord said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So the opposite of being unstable is being stable, being rooted and grounded. Meaning like, guess what? As a grown man, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to handle my business. As a grown woman, I'm going to make sure whatever I got, whatever uh, uh, business that I have that needs to be taken care of, and guess what? It's going to get taken care of, right? Easy, hard, right? Difficult, whatever it may be, it's going to get taken care of. The opposite of that is when now and every when. You just let it go, right? Um, Let's read, let's read on. It says, be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. Be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Honor and shame is in talk. It says honor and shame is in talk. And the tongue of man is his fall. Meaning I was talking to a brother about this earlier. Man, if you're having a conversation, right? If you have a conversation with somebody... And their tone or the way their conversation is coming off, let's say it comes off in a way that you don't like, okay? Now, let's say a person is speaking and the, the tone and the manner in which they're speaking in is, is something uh, uh, that's not comely, right? They, they might be having strife or they might have a contention. Okay, first, you address the matter. Okay, boom. You know, you're coming off very straight, uh, uh, very uh, contentious and, 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 and proudful. And sometimes you don't even have to really say that. You can just take a mental note. But really what you want to do is, is you're going to pay attention to the words that's coming out of that person's mouth. Because I can sound real stream and contentious, but I'm telling you I really love you and I really care for you, man. Now, this tone that I'm speaking in is real aggressive. It's real dominant. But the words that's coming out of my mouth is soft, is loving, is caring. You understand that? So now the tone that somebody may come in is going to be, it can be off. It can be whatever. But at the end of the day, the scripture says, it says, um, be swift to hear and let thy life. It says, uh, Salaki. it says, if thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Honor and shame is in talk and thy tongue of and the tongue of man is his fault. You understand that? So say if I'm really strife, say if I'm really uh, uh being strifeful, or I'm really having contention, or I'm really being a reviler, my talk is gonna revile that. Cause what does Jake do, man? You strife and you contentious, or uh, what did he say? What you wanna do? Or, or we can shoot the sixty, or, 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 or we can we can throw it down, or whatever. They, this is what Jake say, right? You coming in that spirit, a strife and contention, your words and your talk is gonna follow. You understand that? Ultimately, the Lord said, you shall know men by their fruits, right? You can't read somebody's mind. As much as you like to say you can, you can't really read somebody's mind, man. So the only thing that you can go based off of is knowing people by their fruits, right? It says, um, be not called a whisperer. I Meaning you always that brother or you always that sister that's talking about somebody else, right? We get on the phone or we in person, we chopping it up. 
And every time we talk, you bring up somebody else. And you spilling their business, man. Don't be known as a whisperer. It says, and lie not, wait with thy tongue. For so, like for a foul shame is upon a thief, and an evil condemnation up, upon the double tongue. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small, man. So don't be an ignorant of anything great, such as letting thy sins reap up and reap up, or anything so-called small. Meaning like, okay, boom, you kind of whispering behind closed doors. Or boom, you not you kind of saying the wrong things out your mouth. Or you uh you uh you uh you winging stuff, right? The Lord said, hey, guess what? If you don't have an answer, shut up, right? But hey, guess what? You kind of winging it. That's you. That is a so called small thing, right? So don't be ignorant in any of these things, great or small, as we continue to go through the book of Sirach. And with that, shalom, yashallah, shalom, shalom, kwam yashallah.